Hello everyone. So real quickly, I just wanted to uh, orient you to a wonderful app uh, that is Marion Ferrara's favorite called EduCreations, and she has used it extensively. So I would actually refer you to her if you have any other specific questions and to see some fantastic work uh, done by another member of our faculty if you've not yet had a chance to do that. Um, but EduCreations, I have you see my iPad here as I'm mirroring. Very, uh, the, the power of education is it's very simple to use. It takes very little time um, and you download it and you can be up and running and recording a lecture in no time flat. It does have some limitations with regards to exactly what you can do with it, but again, um, I think that uh, the limitations are outweighed by the fact that it's very nimble and you can record a lecture at any time. So you'll see in the upper right hand corner there's a record button um, and um, for purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and click record, and we'll begin recording on the slide. I can select any color I wish. Okay, for the pen, I can begin uh, writing. Okay, and, you know, there's also an eraser tool you can use to erase. Um, you know, so it's pretty standard. If I want an image next to that text box, actually, if I click on the text box, I can tap anywhere and type my text and that's done. Okay, and, it, and notice at this point after I've typed my text, the little hand icon at the top is nice and blue. I can then select my text and I can move it anywhere I wish on the screen, which is really nice. Okay, the I won't go into every single uh, detail here. Oh, and notice, my store, oops. And I, uh, sorry, I just saw that message. You have to continue recording once you're done. It's nice. It uh, pauses the recording while you're typing your text. How delightful. Uh, so a couple features here. There, You'll see that there is a uh, an image icon right here next to text. You can notice the recording is paused again. I can take an image from my camera. I can call it up for my an image from my Dropbox, from my photo library, whatever. Um, for right now, I'm not going to do that. Well, actually, why not? I'm going to go to my photos. Now let's go to the camera roll. What do we have here? Hey, look, some books. <laughs> right. And it gives me several options. And you can uh, notice the hand icon is set again. I can move this around wherever I want. I'm going to put it right there. Click on it. I can rotate it. I can keep rotating it however you want, um, etc. I'll lock it right there so that it's all set. I'll close that and continue recording. OK, so now I have an image. Now I can go back up to my uh, screen and say, well, if I want to annotate over the image, circle it, you know, arrow, draw, whatever I want to do. So you have several options in this particular program, okay? And at the bottom, you're going to see that you uh, have this plus icon down here. If I click on that, I can duplicate page in ink or I can you know, just duplicate the page, meaning I can add another slide. Um, if I go down to the bottom right hand corner, there's an arrow. If you click the arrow, you get a brand new screen. I can go back to the screen that I was at. So you can record a lecture and have several screens uh, that you can then upload for students to watch in succession. Okay, now when I am done, I simply click done at the upper left hand corner and I will save my lesson. Uh, example one, okay, description. You probably want to have some kind of description in here if you're going to describe it for students, and I'll say next. And uh, who can view the lesson? Well, probably if you're doing it for students, you want to make it public. Okay, but you also have the option, if you want to go through the rigmarole of setting up accounts and whatnot, upload and make it for your school. I'm just going to click public. Okay, science, basic science. I have an account, okay, and I'm going to go save. And what this is going to do is it, since I've signed up for a free account, um, it gives me, it's going to publish this for, uh, to my EduCreations account, and then I can go to my account, grab the link, much as I would uh, a YouTube link, and send it to students to view or direct them to that link. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, wonderful app, and I highly recommend it if you just want to get in, get out, get your stuff done. And again, I uh, commend Marion Ferrara for all her great work that she's done with her students in using this particular app.